What's up guys, it's Michael here with Flipping Mobile Homes with another video. It is time to get active. Now before I start this video, uh, what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is how you should get into Flipping Mobile Homes if you only have like a thousand, two thousand dollars or something to start. It's no big deal or anything like that because I certainly started out with much less. I mean, I was on hard times. I've told this story a thousand times. And if you wanna hear that story, I'm sure you can go back and look at some other videos where I talk about it. But before I begin talking about that, I wanna give out a quick announcement real quick, right? So coming into this space, teaching other people about flipping mobile homes, cause there's like three types of different flips that I know of, which is, you know, the, the complete flip, then there's the pass off, which is the handyman flip. Uh, where you probably don't do anything to it. And then there's wholesaling too, which all of them are going to be important to you. But let me get into what I was about to say. So transitioning from doing all this stuff to being a content creator like I am, I realized that I have to start putting more time into my channel and to teaching people like yourselves and just getting it done, right? So what I'm going to do is starting with this video, I'm starting a 90 day content blitz right so that means that i'm going to be shooting and uploading one new video every day for the next 90 days giving you a lot of free stuff and that's just that hold my feet to the fire right i want you guys to comment below smash that like button hit the notification bell and become a part of the notification gang so with that being said let me go on ahead and get right into the video so like i was saying how do you start a business like this if you've only got like a couple of thousand dollars. Like I said, I started off with a couple of dollars myself. And I said a couple of dollars, not a couple of thousand dollars. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can do that. First of all, you need to become absolutely obsessed with mobile homes, right? I'm not talking about like watching a video or two here and there, you know, maybe you talk about it with a couple of friends and stuff at the salon or the barbershop or church or wherever you're at. You need to become absolutely obsessed. You need to eat, sleep, breathe, and this stuff, right? So Tony Robbins once talks about this thing is called a reticular, it's a reticular actuating system, right? So the best way that I can describe something like that is, have you ever bought a car and you know, it's the coolest thing in the world to you, you know, it's clean, don't got no fries and chicken nuggets and stuff in between the seats. It's nice, you know, it's, it's your thing for the next couple of months and you're just like, oh shoot, you know, I'm rolling everything, you know, I'm out here, yeah. And so-and-so got a new car and that's cool. But the thing is, is that when you get that new car, what happens? You start to see that same type of car everywhere. Everybody else is driving the same type of car, right? Because your reticular actuating system is kicked in. The thing is, is that your brain is telling you that this car is now important to me. That car might've been all over the place, but you just never paid attention to it until you actually got one for yourself. The same thing goes with learning a new word. That's understandable, right? But you gotta use that automatic mechanism in order to start getting good at looking for deals and spotting those deals, right? So use that reticular actuating system, start getting obsessed with mobile homes, and the second you do that, anytime that you pass by a mobile home, anytime somebody mentions the word, your brain gonna be like, oh shoot, look at it, you know. So like I said, step number one, you got to get active with it, start listening to podcasts, start looking at videos. There's a ton of free content and stuff out there, and I'm not the only person who makes content out there, and I try not to hate on anybody else's content, so if you find content elsewhere that can help you out, Give them the support and stuff that they need, especially if you learn something from them and you found it helpful and you know maybe it did or maybe it didn't change your life, but you know that it's a piece of the puzzle that you need in order to complete this entire wealth success picture that you have of your life. Don't go and spend a bunch of it somewhere. Don't go blow it on some big course or anything like that. I would start driving for dollars, looking for mobile homes. You've probably got a lot of mobile homes out there in your metropolitan area that if you step outside your city, it's a whole different world. People have land and all kinds of different zoning laws and stuff where people uh, just have mobile homes because cities, the way they're zoned, right? If you're in a big city, uh, they will zone places for mobile homes that are just probably not where you live at. And you need to start getting out there in those areas and looking at them. Another good place to go look for them is in parks. You might wanna stop by the office, start talking with the park manager and stuff, build a rapport and find out just in case they do have some mobile homes that are for sale that don't have a mobile home for sale sign out front of it, right? Something that you can't see with the naked eye. And go from there. There's a home right there that you could possibly flip depending on the price range, right? 
So I'm going to say this right here. Not every place is going to be equal. Where I live at, mobile homes are like within a certain price range. Uh, I can do good. Let's say 20, 30, 40,000, 60,000 dollars. That's a good price range for where I live at. I've been talking to people in my group that are from like different parts of the country, like, you know, the uh, Northeast and mobile homes are going for like a hundred grand up there. I've talked to people over in California as well. Mobile homes are going for like 300 grand out that way. It's just a numbers game and don't be intimidated by these numbers. As long as you can find a mobile home that's for sale, you can always wholesale it without putting down the first dime. Another place to go and look would definitely be Facebook Marketplace. You want to check on there. A few months back, I did a video that was telling people, you know, how to go on Facebook and how to look for mobile homes. Give me this little caveat right here. So at first, when I first started flipping mobile homes, all you had to do on Facebook was go in there and type in uh, mobile homes for sale on Facebook, right? That no longer applies because Facebook now categorizes mobile homes as any other home. So when you go on there, you just wanna type in homes for sale and you just want to set your mile radius for your search wherever you're comfortable with driving, like how far are you willing to drive for five or $10,000? Me, I would do an hour or two, hell yeah I would. Most of you drive like a couple of miles and you don't even make that much in a month. So you can make something like that in a day. It just depends on where you're willing to take this thing. Another good place to go and look for mobile homes that are for sale is gonna be Craigslist. People post on there all the time. A lot of the times we tend to forget in this very fast paced world where it's just millennials and Gen Z and everything coming up behind us and everybody's on social media and everything like that. We tend to forget about uh, the boomers and Gen Xers and stuff. Uh, Gen Xers to a lesser extent because they're on social media too, but definitely the boomers. They're still around. They still uh, got plenty of money from a life well lived, making smart investments and everything, and they have things that they want to get rid of, and they're not all that savvy when it comes down to social media. And Craigslist is uh, pretty friendly for those who are technically savvy and want to put stuff up there. You can also look in places like the classifieds too. I know that's a little bit old school, but to somebody who might be you know, 60, 70, 80 years old, that might be all they know and they don't want to get online and stuff looking for a tutorial on how to Facebook. Just slip it off in the classifieds and everything. And if you're not paying attention, those deals could get away from you real easy. Another cool place to go and look would be MH Village. You can get on there and you can find just a plethora of mobile homes in your area. Now, in the past, I have had a gripe about MH Village because like some of the homes and stuff that I looked at were just way overpriced but they come in a various amount of prices and stuff and you can find something that works out for you. Now, before you start doing this stuff, I wanna make it very clear that you need to have a buyer's list full of eager buyers who are willing to buy from you yesterday, right? And that doesn't cost any money either. The only thing you need to do is make a ghost post of a home, put it out there at a decent price in your area and make sure that it kind of matches what mobile homes are going for in your area for the year model and the amount of rooms and bathrooms and stuff that you have and start getting people into your, your buyer's list who are gonna buy from you, right? And they got their money right, they got a good job, maybe they saved some money or whatnot, they're willing to go ahead and make an even swap, no swindle cash buy, and it's good to go. Now, something like that takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do, and if you wanna do something like that, I've got a little mini course at my website that you can go to, uh, doesn't cost you anything, it's totally free, it's about three videos with some files and stuff that you can download with a spreadsheet so that you can start loading those names into your buyers list, and that way you'll know who's ready to buy something and exactly what they want, and how much money that they have. So be sure you click that link after this video so that you can get started yesterday. A couple of other resources I wanna talk about before I end this video. I definitely did not know about these when I first got started, but you know, the more you know, the more you grow. And so I just keep on growing in my business and the more I know, the more I start to share with other people. And these things right here came to me after I first started, but you'll have the benefit of knowing these things when you first get started, right? Now, one good resource is gonna be PropStream. You can go there and what you can do is you can put in the search criteria for mobile homes. Yes, you can access lots of different homes on PropStream from duplexes, condos, traditional homes, everything like that, but you can also pinpoint for mobile homes as well. You can look up what's for sale right now, what's on the market. You can also look up things that have gone into probate as well. Like if somebody's died or something like that and maybe the land is up or maybe somebody just kind of skipped out. And at that point in time, what you can do is you can literally look up hundreds of mobile homes that are probably around a good driving distance away from you. Uh, and you can compile those into a list. That way you can go on ahead and take those addresses and everything and you can drop those onto your Google Maps with a pen. And then when you go out and start driving for dollars with a purpose, you can go out, you, you know exactly where you're going. You can plot a little course and everything. Okay, I'm gonna hit 
A, B, C, and D, and, and, and E, F, and G, you know, before lunch. And then I'm gonna hit, you know, everything on down to like maybe J, F, and K, you know, after lunch and everything before I go ahead and roll it in for the day. Sometimes you can come across an abandoned mobile home where clearly nobody's living in there. Maybe the grass and everything's growing up around it. You know, there might be some algae and stuff on the siding and everything, thereby indicating that nobody's lived in this house for quite some time. So what you can do is you can go to Skip Genie and you can put in that address, right? And you can start looking for the person who might own that property as well. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty good leads and everything for when you want to try to find out who it is that owns that home and whether or not they want to sell it. So you, what you're looking for is motivated sellers. And yeah, the word motivated seller does kind of get thrown around a lot in this mobile home flipping space, but I'm just going to tell you right now, the only reason why people use the words motivated sellers is because it's a nice stand in for what it actually represents, which is desperate sellers. People who need to get rid of that mobile home yesterday as bad as you want to get that mobile home to the people who want to buy from you yesterday. And that's the name of the game. So the last bit of advice I'm going to give you is you can go on ahead and buy some yard signs to start putting out, right? So you can go someplace like dirtcheapsigns.com and they really do have signs for dirt cheap. You can get your signs over there for about 80 cents a piece. So let's just say you go ahead and dedicate to getting about 100 signs, right? The reason why you're gonna do this is because in your area, your face and your name and your company needs to be synonymous with mobile homes. That way when somebody is either buying or selling a mobile home, you need to be top of mind whenever they make that decision. So let's say you go on ahead and dedicate yourself to getting about 100 signs, right? We're talking you know, $80 shipping and handling and everything included, postage and everything. So. You put out about 25 of these signs a week. You dedicate yourself to that goal. Start putting them in places and stuff where people are gonna see those at. Maybe you talk to some other people and let them know that you're a small business and everything, you're getting started up. And they might not have a problem with you putting a sign uh, somewhere in the proximity of their business. Wherever the case may be, you need to get those 100 signs on out there so that you can get your name out there, right? So, like I said, become obsessed with flipping mobile homes get online check out those sources and everything because they're gonna work out for you i guarantee it if you you know if you locate about you know, i don't know 20 30 homes or something like that several of those could be yours and i want you to go on ahead and take some action towards that okay i really want you to be successful and if you get hard on this stuff man i mean literally you are one flip away do not forget to smash that like button down there subscribe please Give me the HBO special. You know what the HBO special is? That's the Help a Brother Out special. And I really appreciate that. Change my life so that I can change yours and help more people. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you can become a part of the notification gang. Get that. And like I said before, you need to become obsessed with this. I'm going to be hitting you with a video every single day for the next three months. Make sure that you click that link below. Go to the Test Your Market exercise. Do that. And if you want to know more about flipping mobile homes, I've also got a link down there in the description where you can go and I've got a short video. And trust me, I hate the sh** out of long webinars. So this video will probably take about maybe 20 minutes and it gives you the gist of what you need to know when it comes down to flipping mobile homes. Uh, fill out a short questionnaire, set up a call with me so that I can answer some questions. We'll get on Zoom, we'll have a good time. My energy is good and I hope yours is good too. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.